Hi, Nathan here from The Pop Revolution, and in this video, I'll be showing you what I've come to believe is the fastest way to enter notes in Finale. If it's not the fastest way, it's definitely one of them. So play around with it, figure out what's gonna work the best for you, but let's dive in so I can show you how I enter notes in Finale. You will need some sort of MIDI controller in order to do this. So for me, I have a very simple MIDI keyboard that works just fine. Pretty much any digital keyboard will work as long as you have a MIDI cable that allows you to control Finale's speedy entry. In order to do this, you may need to do a bit of configuring, so Finale knows what you are using to control note entry. So go to the top of your Finale screen to the MIDI Audio tab. Now you're going to go to Device Setup and click the MIDI Internal Speaker Setup option. There are a couple ways to do this. If your MIDI controller appears under the Input Device column on the left side, then that means Finale already recognizes your controller and you're ready to go. That's probably because you have the Auto Detect Input Device option selected. But just because that is selected, it doesn't guarantee that it's going to find it. If your device does not show up, then go under the Input Device column on the left side and click on channels 1 through 16. Your device should be there. Click it and you're ready to go. For me, I have an audio interface, a MIDI controller, and a network session, which is just my iPhone using an ad hoc route so I can use my iPhone as a MIDI controller. So you can use multiple controllers at once in Finale. Now that you're ready to go, let's jump into using your MIDI controller as your way to enter notes. You'll have to be in speedy entry in order to do this. And once you're there, you'll then need to tell Finale that you want to use your MIDI controller as your input. So go to the top of your page, find the speedy tab, and then make sure that use MIDI device for input is selected. This tells Finale that you want to use your MIDI controller for speedy entry specifically. If you don't want to use your controller anymore, just turn it off here. Now the process to actually start entering notes takes some getting used to. So you might be slow at it at first, but with some practice this really does become really fast and economical. This is how I have my studio set up, with my keyboard and computer close to each other so I can use both at the same time. This is also a really good setup so I can record in Logic and not have to move around. If you have your keyboard right in front of you, attached to your desk, that's great. But the main thing is you need to have it within easy reach or else this won't work. If you have a laptop, you can just set it on top of your keyboard or come up with other options along those lines. When it comes to workflow, I'll use my left hand on the MIDI controller and my right hand on the computer keyboard. When you're in speedy entry using MIDI input, you'll tell Finale which notes with your controller and what rhythms with your computer keyboard. The number pad on your computer keyboard controls rhythm length. The lower numbers are really small rhythms, and the higher up you go, the longer the rhythms are. So number four is an eighth note, five is a quarter note, and six is a half note. You get the idea. If you haven't been using speedy entry at all, it'll take some practice to get this down. So I'm gonna go ahead and start entering some notes and show you how I enter them. What's really nice is that if you enter a wrong rhythm, you can just hover over the note and click the right number on your pad to fix the rhythm. If you put a wrong note in, you can just delete it, redo it, or you can just use your mouse and drag the note to the correct place. Of course, you can play multiple notes at a time on your keyboard to create chords. This is really useful because in any other entry mode except recording, you have to put each note in individually, and it really does waste time. The only real downside to this is if there's an interval you want to create that is wider than your hand can reach, it's a little tough, but you can just hover over which notes you want to add and double click to do it. So if I want a really big chord or I'm scoring for choir, I have the sopranos over an octave above the lowest female voice, I can just double click those notes in. Once you get the hang of this workflow, you can be notating your music much faster than any other note entry mode in Finale. The only other mode I know of that can be faster is the recording mode. But in my experience, that mode is really more frustrating than anything because you have to play everything imperfectly. So unless you can do that, I would suggest learning this method. With this method, I can put notes in very quickly. And I know for me, I would much rather spend my time writing music or listening to music than notating it. So this is a great way for me to spend as little time notating as possible. There you have it, what I believe is the fastest way to notate in Finale. Thanks for watching this video. Be sure to subscribe and feel free to leave any questions or comments below, and I'll do my best to get back to you.